This is a short demo on the superficial imaging of the butterfly IQ. So this first preset is the nerve preset and I'm demoing while well, I'm following the superficial radial nerve. It's adjacent to the radial artery here and it's going to slip over the radius in a second. You can see that with the superficial radial nerve in this case you really only can see one fascicle. Um, later on, you can differentiate between the fascicles if you really look closely. But from a superficial imaging, really the sub-centimeter resolution is not so great. Um, and that's a limit of the uh, uppermost frequency of this transducer. I started to play around with it. Uh, to see if the zoom function um, was also helpful. So here I, I zoomed and in the top right corner you can see the, the little thumbnail. And zooming really doesn't do anything um, for the, the grayscale image. The dynamic range doesn't change at all and it's, it's not really helpful for those kind of sub-centimeter um, lesions that you're looking at or structures. Then I switched the uh, preset over to the MSK preset to see if that helps with the uh, differentiation of, of tissues. Eventually I got fed up with the zoom and then switched over. So here we are with the MSK preset. I guess you could argue that there's a little bit more of a contrast or brightening here of the fascial layers, but overall there's really not much of a, a, a difference. I think the dynamic range is actually less in this particular um, near field example. So overall I didn't really enjoy either of these presets for the sub-centimeter tissues. It is good in the tissues that are between two and five centimeters and I think this is where the transducer is really going to excel. One of the nice features of the probe head is the little divot that you can place your finger in and that helps to grip onto the transducer and keep the weight off of the superficial tissues. You can see in most of the images that I did here, I was crushing the veins, and that's due to the weight of the transducer itself. So overall, I think that this transducer is not the best for the really superficial tissues that are less than 10 millimeters below the skin.